this could actually fit me. <gasps> Hi, I'll put this back. It's Betty Ball here from Spark in the new and refurbed library on Kale Road in the search for Chloe's hero. Now, in the other room there, there is a team of about five or six, including Chloe's parents, including Chloe's auntie and uncle, waiting for you to come down and to take a swab. Could you be Chloe's hero? Karen, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? Fine, thank you. Great. So, why did you volunteer your building for this event? When we took over Kale Road Library, it was um, has to be kept as a library, but we wanted to involve the whole community. Chloe is a resident in Sunderland. She's in the west area of Sunderland, and she did the Christmas light switch on for us, and we heard about our plight then, and I think it's really important that as a community and a city, we come together to support her to help her find a donor. So how did you find out about Chloe then to get her to switch on the Christmas lights and then now come into your building? I'd seen a little bit of local press, but um, my niece actually works in her school and she was telling us about her as well. So it just seemed a really obvious choice to get involved and to bring her down into the rest of the community so everybody else could get an aura. This is Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, all right. All right. Good. Right. OK, so how do you think this event's going to do? Yeah, it's good, yeah. We've done a few of them, to be fair. Uh, so I, it's been doing well. Like, the more people sign up, the better, obviously. So I, it's good. So being a member of our family, it must be really, really hard and really stressful. So how do you think you're coping with that? Uh, yeah, it's all right. I mean, obviously, at first, we didn't have, like, the support of other people. It was just, like, within the family. But now, like, the more people who find out about it, obviously, like, the more support you get, like, people signing up, like, coming down, like, travelling down and that just to sign up. So it's good, like, it's, uh, it's, but it's all good, I. So I heard that Chloe switched on the Pallion Christmas lights last year. Do you think doing a big event like that does help raise awareness for an event like this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, uh, obviously people see her and, like, wonder what it is and it's all over Facebook and stuff like that. Like, everyone uses that now. So uh, I like it just promotes, like, what, what we're trying to do. So the more people who see it, the better. I'm with Chloe's mum, Francesca, and we've been here all day. And what do you think today has been like? It's gone really, really well. We've gotten a good response. We've got, I think, about 35 people signed up so far, so it's been really good. 35? Oh, can you? I've just done it, haven't I? Yeah, you've done yours. All done. To be fair, it wasn't as scary as I thought. The word swab puts people off. Have you found this? They do. People think we're going to be taking the blood or doing something really, really invasive to them, and it's not. It's just a mouth swab. It takes, like, a minute. It does. It takes a minute, and, like you say, it could be the answer to... Chloe's needs. So what is DBA? Because loads of people will not know what that means. It's diamond black for anemia, so it's a genetic blood condition that Chloe has. It's very, very rare. There's less than a thousand people in the world and it means that she was born without the ability to create red blood cells, so she relies on blood transfusions to stay alive. And because of this situation right now, the donor that is for Chloe at the minute isn't, it's now not working. So this is what this is for. Yep, she's the blood transfusion she's having now, she's running into problems with the compatibility of finding donor blood and the effect it's having on her. So continuing long term with blood transfusions as a fix for DV isn't going to work. So we need to have a bone marrow transplant that would be the end of the need of the transfusions. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will start coming in, it will start flooding and it will get the message out there so if you had a message for anyone who's thinking about coming down what would you say to them I'd say just come and do it if you aren't sure about what's going to happen just come and speak to us we're not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do it's completely up to you but come and see what it is come and see what the process is and it's not as scary as you're going to think it's not anything invasive or intrusive it's just literally a swab and filling the form in and you could save anyone's life give us a twirl of your outfit very pretty and I hope that you do actually find your hero to make you feel better. So it's come to the end of the day at Kale Library and I have both Francesca and Craig, Chloe's parents and is there anything you would like to say to anyone? Just we've done 45 swabs today which is brilliant, we've had a really good turnout. Just this isn't the only event that we're doing, we have got loads of events planned. So like I said before, if you go on Facebook, look for the page Hashtag Hero for Chloe and find all the other events we're doing. If you can't come to one of our events, if you're not local, look on the website, you can do it online and it's really simple to do.